All right, let's practice doing inequalities with decimal multiplication. Okay, so we have 5 times 2 and 3 tenths, and is that greater than, less than, or equal to 5? Okay, so to figure that out, I first need to know what this product is when I multiply. So I need to do 2 and 3 tenths times 5. Now remember, when we multiply a whole number and a decimal, we don't worry about place value, okay? We just put it in, okay? And then I multiply as normal, and we worry about the decimal at the end. So 3 times 5 equals 15. Carry the 1. And 2 times 5 is 10. Plus 1 more equals 11. Since my decimal is over one spot, that means my decimal goes here. So that means that... 5 times 2 and 3 tenths is equal to 11 and 5 tenths. So is 11 and 5 tenths greater than, less than, or equal to 5? It is greater than. Okay, next one. 4 times 1 and 3 tenths is what than 3? Okay, so let's multiply. We have 1 and 3 tenths multiplied by 4. We need to convert that over to make it comparable to the 3. So 3 times 4 is 12. Remember, we're multiplying like normal. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. My decimal is over one spot, so that means my decimal goes here. So that means that is equivalent to 5 and 2 tenths. Is 5 and 2 tenths equal to, less than, or greater than three. It's greater than. Next one, three times one is what than eight? We don't have any decimal here, okay? So this should be relatively easy. Three times one equals three. So is three greater than, less than, or equal to eight? It's less than. Next, we have 4 times 4 and 8 tenths. Is it greater than, less than, or equal to 8? All right. Well, let's figure it out. 4 and 8 tenths times 4. 8 times 4 is 32. Put down the 2, carry the 3. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus 3 is 19. I move my decimal over one spot, so that means the decimal goes here. So this is 19 and 2 tenths. Is 19 and 2 tenths greater than, equal to, or less than 8? It is greater than. Next one, I have 3 times 2 and 5. What is 3 times 2? That's 6. We don't have any decimal to worry about here. So is 6 equal to, greater than, or less than 5? It is greater than. This time we have 4 times 5 tenths and 3. So let's multiply. 4 and 0 and 5 tenths. Okay. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 0 is 0, plus 2 more is 2. I have my decimal over one spot, so that means my decimal goes here. So this equals 2. So is 2 less than, greater than, or equal to 3? It is less than. Next one, 5 times 4 and 10. Again, we don't have a decimal, so let's just do it. 5 times 4 is 20. Is 20 equal to, less than, or greater than 10? It is greater than. Good job. Next, we have 3 times 3 and 2. Do we have a decimal? Nope. Let's just answer it. 3 times 3 equals 9. Is 9 equal to? less than or greater than two. It's greater than. You got this. All right, next one. 
3 times 3 and 4 tenths is what to 2? All right, let's do this one off to the side, okay? So we have 3 and 4 tenths times 3. Multiply it like normal. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. My decimal is over one spot there, so I move it over one spot here. So this equals 10 and 2 tenths. So is 10 and 2 tenths less than, greater than, or equal to 2? It is greater than. Let's try one more. 3 times 3 and 9 tenths is what than 3? All right. Let's multiply it off to the side because we're working with a decimal. So we have 3 and 9 tenths times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. And 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 2 more is 11. My decimal is one spot over. So I move this decimal one spot over. So it's 11 and 7 tenths. Is 11 and 7 tenths greater than, less than, or equal to 3? It is greater. Excellent job.